Hello, and welcome to the <clears throat> the dev commentary of 6 with the Chum Bucket. I have no words to say except this game was great! I remember actually, um, back when I was making this, I think, um, I was only going for like the whole daylight settings or whatever because I was like, oh, you know, I should fucking try and make a daylight game or whatever. And then it ended up being in the chum bucket in the dark and all that shit. And you know what? It ain't actually a bad idea to make a horror game in daylight because, I mean, yeah, sure. The whole idea of making a horror game is, oh, it's supposed to be dark, it's spooky, scary. I get it. Um, but honestly, like... Horror games don't always have to be, you know, in the dark. You know, shit could take place in daylight. That's why I've kind of been doing that with some of the uh, latest, I guess, games of mine, where shit's more bright and you can, you know, see. You don't need a flashlight all the time. I'm just kind of tired of um, fucking needing a flashlight for every single scenario because it kind of gets overdone and generic. Anyway, uh, fucking, what was I saying? I don't remember. Uh, game is good, I guess. Not one of my favorites, apparently. Also, can- can I just please play the fucking game? Okay, let's just stop for a moment. What's the retriggerable delay on this AI. That felt incredibly long. I mean, I get that I, I think I, actually, you know what, hold on. I'm pretty sure, I'm certain that I made this AI have like a five second retrievable delay or something. How the hell are you supposed to lose somebody that quickly or that long? Either that or I've forgotten how to fucking lose the AI through other means. I don't remember. I haven't played this game in a thousand years, forgive me. Can you fucking not? Okay, that actually worked. Also, eh, don't worry, I, I, I still have plans to do the other uh, developer commentaries besides the... Uh, six of the chump bucket one I'm doing now because I do want to do Dave.exe and Scooby Horror Trilogy eventually. I don't think I actually did any for those. Gosh, this bastard's up my ass! Thank you. Okay, then. Oh, look! It's the contraption! And I think... Now that I think about it, literally all of these AM games are practically the same. You go up to something, you hold E, then you leave. And I guess that was the whole gimmick of them. Also, what was strange was that this game was highly requested for some reason. Like, yeah, like the poll, I think, had 76% or something on 60 of the Chum Bucket. Which was weird. I mean, I guess I get it. This one was beloved by uh, many, I, I guess. Personally, it probably wasn't really my favorite. I mean, to some extent. Oh my gosh, you bitch. 
You see what I mean? How long is this chase lasting? That must have been a solid five seconds. Two to three is like the maximum I do now. I was a sadistic son of a bitch back then. And I guess I kind of am now with Around the Clock being oh, apparently incredibly difficult, which I can understand. You know, I was actually thinking about something. Ooh, we got a hot take incoming. Around the Clock could have probably had the three health system throughout the entire game instead of boss fights. Like, that probably would have made the game much easier to play. But at the same time... Oh my gosh, you bitch. Anyway, I was gonna say I have no regrets doing the one health system, but still. Oh my dick! Oh, this was a great game, you know. I remember this part very fondly. When I was working on it, I was like, hey, you know what would be a good idea? If there was a chase sequence. <laughs> By the way, half the time when I'm slamming my games, I don't actually mean it. I don't hate my games. I just make fun of them on purpose, just cuz. Hell, some of these games are pretty nostalgic for me. Like, even just certain time periods when I was working on them. That sort of thing, I guess. And that's that. It was a quick, short game. A short shit game. It wasn't shit. It was just short. But, yeah. I think I'm just trying to avoid making these kinds of games these days. Just, I don't... I don't want to make one-shot games anymore. I feel like that whole genre has sort of gotten... Eh, to me. And you know what? I'm gonna do something real quick. Just gonna take a moment to talk about it. How I am sick and tired of <laughs> I'm just sick and tired of uh, making these like short shit games and that's why I've been kind of making around the clock bikini bond which was a big ass game or whatever multiple levels all that stuff shopping number two I'm basically doing the same thing it's another game that has um, multiple levels in different scenarios mechanics and whatnot I'm trying to get away from doing the same sort of game that's just like you gotta go here, you gotta go there, you gotta collect this item, get out, escape, I get that. But the thing is, I'm kinda tired of making those games. At this point, I don't even wanna make horror games anymore. I've gotten burnt out, and now I've promised so many games that I'm pretty much fucked. I have to make the Strange Chair from the Deep update. I have to make Shopping Nightmare 2. I have to make the Trilogy Bundle. I have to make Dave.exe. Dave.exe is the only one I am looking forward to right now. This trilogy bundle, it might be fun. You know, I kind of do enjoy doing collab projects. Even though we're basically making the games on our own, they're not really collab-y in that sense. Um, a Strange Tear from the Deep update. I have to rig and animate over 20 dudes. I have to uh, do a bunch of other extra content to it that I still have yet to make. Uh, Shopping Nightmare 2. That game is being completely reworked. I I, uh, I I had the game basically done. I actually have the beta sitting in my files right now. But I'm not going to release that because it's not good. So I'm making the game from scratch basically. And it's a completely new game in, in, in a way. It's got same, it kind, of some, kind of the same mechanics I guess you could say. But still, I have to rework and make the whole game again. It's going to be a pain in the ass. It sucks. But, it's going to be good different. It's not the same short shit game that I always make all the time. It's something different. I do want to try and make some newish games, and I guess that's what the trilogy bundle is going to be for. I know I'm going to make that other um that other game in my projects or whatever. It was another game in my projects that I still haven't finished. It's basically two out of three games I was working on in that bundle that I still haven't finished yet. I don't even know when that's going to release. I wanted to do it this year. 
no clue how things are going to go like because I still have to make Trilogy Bundle and the uh, Shopping Number 2 in Straight Share for the Teeth. All this shit. I have to make all these games this year. Possibly this year. I'm not going to rush myself. I'm not going to give release dates. I'm not going to uh, kill myself over this shit again because I already had enough of that with two and a half years of around the clock. That was a pain in the ass and I don't want to go through that again. So yeah. Um, thank you for listening to my tangent. Um, I know it had nothing to do with 6 a.m. in the Chump Bucket. This wasn't even a developer commentary anymore. But, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.